it around. Basically, I just had a, I had a nap at the back of the, the, the car park. We had a car. I've slept for about an hour. But, uh, but yeah, the uh, shop was open. Went in there. Sorted me out a deck by, by 80, 80, 90 quid or something. Gripped it, gripped it and set it up for me, man. And all I've got to do now is just like, ride to this... Uh, try and find the hotel, but it's like an hour away. Hotel Prelly or something. So yeah, man. Let's get it, let's get it. Mad ting. <laughs> on it like a carb on it, fam. <laughs> this stuff, bang it. In a little, a little Nepali restaurant, man. In Japan. How is that? Pretty cool though. This last is banging, man. It's starting to rain. The bags are knackered. And I don't know what to do. So, not much I can do. Just keep on. I don't know why I've become attached to this bike, man. It's like, it was free. I don't know why. I'm... He's like, yeah, keep that bike, man. It's like, he found it and he gave it to me. Fixed it up. And now I'm like, stuck with it. I could have just got a taxi or anything. Not a. It's only got uh, one break, by the way, like. Yeah, man. Tokyo City. Morning. It's like day two in uh, Tokyo. Uh, didn't sleep that great. I think it was, I don't know, the bed wasn't great. There's like tiny, like, wafer thin pillow. And, uh, yeah, like a little, Tiny cubicle, you know, like that. and in the middle of the night, I had my like bag hanging off the um, off the like curtain rail. <laughs> in the middle of the night, my curtain, the bag like fell at the L. Anyway, yeah, it was quite quite bad. But it was, luckily, there was a guy up, so I was just like asked him to pass it to me. Anyway, and then uh, yeah, I've just had my breakfast. I was just checking out these pigeons here. Though. They're all sat in like a rectangular lookout. Post. Very high in the server. So yeah, um, all like all I did last night was uh, rode that clapped out bike. I don't know how many miles. I'm gonna check in a minute, but rode it a few, quite a while, and then um, got into the like the, the hotel, whatever it is, off the dorm. Had a shower, went and got some food, and then. Yeah, I've just been back. It's like a little, it's like you order off a screen and then they bring it to you and you sit there. It's pretty weird. Like I heard uh, this guy tell me that the Japanese are like, really shy on that. So and yeah, they, I don't know. You know, the honk. It's really clean. It's very strange, different kind of culture uh, to what I'm used to. Um, everything's quite spread out and opens at weird hours. And like, like, last night there was loads of restaurants and that open, but like this morning they're all shut. And there's a skate park that I've seen, but it opens at like 10 o'clock at night till 2 in the morning or something. So I wouldn't mind checking that out, it looks pretty good. But I think the first thing I do is like have a look for a skate park and uh, well I've got to check out soon and then get my bag. I also need to do some laundry. Anyway, so I've eaten, just going to go find a, find a skate park man and try and, try and enjoy it. Uh, it's super humid man. I already feel like climbing already. So yeah. It's just walking through the middle and then I do I parked the bike over there, yeah. And it's gone. So quite quite I don't know I'm pleased about that or but anyway. It's gone. Gone but not forgotten. So that's the sky tree. Cost about 20 quid to go up it. And that's about that. It's probably, you've got a good view of all of Tokyo. 
My wheels, man. Just getting around, wheels feel hot, man. It's so hot out here. Tokyo. Found the skate park. It's pretty cool. It's just unbearably hot, man. It's sweaty, hot and sweaty, man. But I'm gonna skate it. I'm just gonna. I've already had a little roll. And then I'm gonna go to the Olympic Park, man, because I want to skate some transitions, some bowls and stuff. And then later on, I gotta go to. Well, check. I can check in at three. I lose the bag. But yeah, I don't know. I got. To figure out how to get to the new, new hostel map to jump on the transit. I don't care the cost of the ticket, I just want to get out of the, the sun. the skate parks down down there somewhere. That was pretty cool. Oh man, this is nice and air conditioned up there. Now I'm back out into this unbearable heat, man. Oh. But yeah, sick views, man. Stopped and had a coffee and a cake, a slice of chocolate cake, so it was pretty, pretty chill, man. Oh my god, I actually took a bus in Tokyo. Uh, now I'm at the skate park, man. <laughs> I can't believe it. Park. Well, I've come to this park. Just manied, manied the pad. I'm speaking to the kids here, and they're like, "Yeah, the, the big skate park's like 45 minute walk from here. Everything's just like so distant, far apart." Man. So um, I can get a train now. Do you know what I mean? Uh, go over, over 
there, get a train. Got to go there. Just got to keep on keeping on, man. What, what are you going to do? Start crying? <laughs> I, feel, I feel like it. I just want, I'd like a beer. I, like, I was freaking out about, first of all, getting the bus to this park. And then got to this park and then just literally like, I was like, mate, I want to ride ramps. So, um, so now I've got to go and get a train, three stops on the train, I think, and then probably like another 10 minute walk. But yeah, it's free, <coughs> it's probably open, excuse me. And that's about it really, just keep on, keep on, ask the station staff if you get stuck, man, that's what they say. Look at these things. <laughs> Tokyo. Boom. <laughs> right, two and a half thousand yen taxi later. I was just pitch, pitch black, man. There's no one, no one there. But I'm here. I don't even know where the entrance is. Better be open, man. It's locked up, yeah? And I can see a security camera there, yeah? Just on that. And, and the floodlights are off. So that's good, isn't it? I'm, I don't know what to do, man. Just jump in. Thing is, if I jump in, probably get fucking... Probably get done, man. We get taken to the fucking police station, trespassing or something. Got it, man. That's a bummer. Should have come earlier, man. I at least had a little nap in the in the taxi. Savage, man. Don't know what to do now. Now I got now I got to get another taxi. It's just fucking pissed me off at that. Well, there's like a security hut right behind me. I just spoke to some girl in there, and she's like, "Yeah, about two weeks ago, it's like it's been taken over by some like by them basically, and they're gonna start charging to use it." Well, you know, but yeah, got it. So now I've got to take about another about an hour and a half train to bloody to my hostel, man. And yeah, that's about it. That's all. It's, all it's been going on just. That's what I mean. I could have just stayed in London, mate, and gone to Stockwell. <laughs> bye bye, skate park, which I'll never get to ride. Ah.